It's time. Can I, gentlemen, ask you to please be seated? Uh, and can you lower a little bit the, the lights because I cannot see anything right now. Right, cool. Good stuff. <clears throat> Good beginning. We are still waiting for a few people to arrive. It will be around 130 of uh, us tonight to this special evening. So let's begin. My name is Goran Svetanovsky, and um, I'm a CEO and founder of High Pride company that organizes events around data analytics and AI. And um, today, it's not about me, it's about these two gentlemen, so they will run the show, <laughs> but I will actually start it just a bit. All right, so thank you for attending the second, no, it's actually no, the third. third. <laughs> I was just trying to see if we are counting correctly. So welcome to the third uh, annual data and AI readiness awards. It's a place where we celebrate not only individuals, teams, and organizations, but also we are trying, or we're gonna try collectively, to prove to the world that data and AI and analytics can be fun. Almost as like a long uh, movie weekend uh, watching your Netflix series and etc. <laughs> so uh, no Netflix today, just their awards. Good, so um, first of all, let's do with this. Um, we are extremely thankful for our sponsors this year that have been supporting us this year, and some of them actually over the course of three, uh, three years. So this is uh, extremely important for us to keep on uh, organizing this event. So we have uh, our sponsors from HP, NVIDIA, Lenovo, uh, Neo4j, and DataEQ in the building. They have been sponsoring some of the categories, so uh, you will see them on stage a little bit later on. We are a little bit in a hurry with time, not because we don't have time, it's just because uh, the chef who is making the food uh, insisted that we are on time, which is actually <laughs> the first time that I actually need to be on time. Good, so this has been an incredible year so far. Do you all agree? Yes. Right, it's been a year of innovation, year of hype, year of drama. We had the Kardashian in <laughs> AI, open AI. By the way, uh, how many are Sam, how many are the other guy? Yes, race for Ilya, let's see. For, uh, who is for Ilya and who is for, uh, for uh, the other guy? Uh, Sam, first for Sam. Okay, nobody's racing, so it's good. So just uh, don't tempt yourself this year. We don't have to make a very big fuss about it, right? All right, so it's been a very big uh, year in innovation. So, uh, and also has been a really good year actually to, to see the network and the community grow. The most important is that we have seen some innovations that have been coming and we have been waiting for this for a long time. Errol probably will speak about that a little bit later on. Um, so I wanted to demonstrate how innovative you can be at this point of time. So I sat down this morning and said like, okay, I want to create a new company and I want to have some products. So I sat down, started talking with uh, ChatGPT and uh, with um, Bert, of course, and those two don't speak, each, uh, speak uh, the same language, obviously. So we said, like, okay, I'm going to do some products, and it's going to be products for data analytics and AI. So this is actually what uh, we came up for. Two. The first one is AI Rescue. <laughs> this is actually a monitor that has in, uh, airbag, airbag inside. So every time your AI model doesn't work, when you hit your head in the, the, the screen, the airbag pops out and you can save your neck. It's a very revolutionary product. We are starting to launch this in March next year. We had another one, which is basically CEO, CEO Value Finder Pro. This is a very, very sophisticated software that we are developing. This is going to go in somewhere in June. It's actually helping a lot of CEOs to find ultimate value. So for example, with this, you can generate buzzwords like uh, metaverse and blockchain and put it in your slide immediately, almost with a three seconds difference. And then you can also utilize it for ChatGPT and different other things and find the uh, value. And you don't need to speak with data analytics and AI professionals. You don't need them. <laughs> you just basically go to a tool and it's working. Finally. Yes, finally, <laughs> the fine tune. Yeah. Then, we, uh, then we, we had another one. This is actually an instant data mesh uh, patchwork. So, you know, why should you wait for three years for data to learn that the data mesh is working or not working? Just put the patchwork and it's <laughs> immediately focusing and uh, doing all the things. And it's a very good design, actually. This one probably is going to come in September. 
Let's see. And the first, the, this is actually one of my favorites. It's an AI Act uh, Invader. This is coming actually next year, you know, because the AI Act is coming. So with this tool, effectively right now, you can bend the rules and avoid any regulation uh, challenges. I this like one is going premium, so we are charging Apple product uh, <laughs> thing. I think it's going to be very popular next year. And then the final one is a Data Vanish Pro. This is an excellent product. As you can see, I have been a, a salesperson before. This is a actually, uh, actually really good product because this one erases all traces of financial data involved with your cloud computing. <laughs> right? You just basically put this on the, on the um, whatever you want to have it, and then basically all the financial data is gone. So no uh, expenses for, uh, for cloud computing, AI computing, etc. So if you want to use this, Data Vanish Pro is the thing. This we are launching as soon as possible because everybody is focusing on LLMs at this point of time. All right. And then uh, also we found, uh, we created a, a framework which we are trying to deploy next year. It's actually called Enterprise AI Innovation Prevention Checklist. This is actually a checklist that you should follow if you want to prevent uh, innovation with AI in your organization. This is actually all the learnings that we have had this year. In our conferences, we have done it in the checklist. So as you can see there is like uh, quite a lot of these things. If you want, you can download this directly from the website. So, um, I hope this was uh, funny enough. <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> right, so uh, every year we're starting with something. What is new, what is, uh, what is challenging, and how this year has been. And I think that I will leave and not talk too much about this because we're gonna summarize with this. Last year we had what if to, uh, today is tomorrow. And now what if to, uh, tomorrow is today. Because everything that we really wanted for the past seven years is a community fighting, actually crying. See us, you know, AI is going to be the best. Data science, put it on a on a board meetings and etc. Everything came true. ChatGPT came, just revolutionized everything. But this is this is a little bit uh, a strange of a feeling because we succeeded what we wanted to do, but in the same time, we cannot think that this is over, right? The, but this is actually the beginning. So if you didn't think that you needed a community before in the past seven years, this is actually the time when you're going to need the community the most. Because there's so much hype and so much things happening right now. And nobody knows what is going on. Everybody's trying, innovating in a silo. And the only thing that we need to do is to come together. So the purpose of these awards is actually for you guys to be together. To see each other. To, to see what I'm seeing. You're the guys who are changing the future. But you need to speak often. So I want to create more instances when you guys meet. That is my legacy. All right, so Data and AI Readiness Awards. It was so quiet. <clears throat> All right, so this is actually what the awards are about. We are uh, celebrating um, incredible individuals, teams, and organizations that are working on fostering talent talent, driving data and innovation forward, making an outstanding innovation, progress and impact with their efforts and projects, promoting diversity and inclusion, selflessly sharing their knowledge with others and inspiring young generations to follow the lead. This is what we are doing because whatever you think that is trivial that you're doing right now is really impacting somebody. So think about it, right? It's very important. So this is how, uh, how many awards we will be giving this year. It's actually 17 in total, 10 individuals and seven uh, organizations. We will actually start with 20. Last year, so we are keeping it on 17 this year, and I hope we're going to start increasing next year as well. Uh, this is actually how the voting and uh, calculation process. So we have a little bit of difference this year. Until this year, the voting and the entire their awards were publicly, uh, it was publicly nominated and publicly voted people. And it was fun, it was very great, but however, the feedback that we got last year is to make it a little bit more serious. So of course, we wanted to make it more serious and started implementing Eurovision into it. <laughs> so as you can see, we as can rip off gets. all the, the infographics and everything else that is from... Uh, um, uh, so we started actually the process of nomination around uh, August, and we had that uh, open until uh, late October. Then we started actually the voting process for the public sector, uh, for, the, for the public audience. And this year we actually selected uh, judges, uh, 21 in total from four different countries. And you can see actually the distribution of those uh, um, four countries. So we have six from Finland, six from Sweden, six from Denmark and three from Norway. Hopefully we'll have three more from Norway next year as well. And this is the, the judges that will take a little bit more 
uh, work in uh, and uh, basically precedence in these uh, awards as of next year. Now, the important thing is that some of the uh, judges that you will see right now, they are nominated for the individual categories. This is the last time that this is going to happen. And the uh, judges uh, that have been nominated for the individual um, uh, categories are not actually allowed to vote this year for the individual categories. So we didn't want it to have any biases and etc. So uh, bear with me about this. The, um, the individual categories are this year accumulation of um, votes from the public and then votes from the judges in a ratio of 50-50 which means that if we had, let's say, 300 public votes, the value of the judges will be 300. Does it make sense? Right? Uh, for the organization category, we don't have that because we didn't have public uh, voting. It's all based on the judges. So this is very important for you to understand before we move forward because the slides that you're going to see, they're going to actually uh, mimic what I'm trying to do uh, converse right now. All right, so these are all the judges. Um, I want to thank every each one of you for taking an active role and helping us to do this. When I started this, I wanted to do a party. And now we have our work, so we need to be serious. So the judges are actually helping me quite a lot or helping us actually quite a lot to do this. Our words very uh, on a professional way and I'm very thankful for that. All right, uh, from this year, the awards will have a new logo. We started from this announcing it last year. So we have a new logo. We actually flew down the designer who designed actually the logo. Uh, Nenat, you're in the back there, so big applause to you. Thank you so much for figuring this out. <laughs> so we started with the runes, uh, which was basically the their awards, and then uh, uh, Nenat actually managed to do a very cool um, logo out of that, which looks like a Star Trek as well, so depending if, you know. But it's a very beautiful one. So this is actually um, the awards logo. Now, the agenda for today. So um, uh, we will start with welcoming remarks, finally. OK? Huh? This is not the welcoming remarks. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> so this is actually just an intro, preparing, <laughs> winning time while, while they are serving the food. All right, so this is how we're going to go. So we're going to have some welcoming remarks by these beautiful uh, moderators that we have on stage this year. I will be retracted and just helping a little bit from behind. Um, we will have the first course that is served right now. We will start with the first part of the ceremony, which is the individual awards. Then we will have basically the, some fire talks. Then we will follow up with the individual categories, second course. Then we continue with the organization categories, third course. And then uh, we fin uh, finalize the award ceremony and then we will have a private concert as every year. So uh, make sure that you stay until the end um, because it's going to be awesome. And plus that is not the end. After that we are just going to the bar and we're staying there until uh, 12 o'clock. Right. And now, with no further ado, I um, welcome you all to the 2023. Data and AI Readiness Awards, and I give my microphone. Actually, you have your own. I have my own. Yeah, to uh, this, uh, you already know them, but the Master of Ceremony, Errol Kuhlmeister, and this year we are passing it up with Dacho Fernandez. Yeah. So I leave the room to you. Welcome, uh, everybody, and let's have a great night. And uh, we need a little drink, so please. <laughs> 